Um, I'm Frances Davis from Lee County Area Technology Center, and I teach health science there. Um, about five years ago, we added on medical administrative assisting to our um, building, um, and we went to, into an, a, a, a room that was an accounting class. So we don't actually have a lab. Um, all the other um, programs throughout our building have, like, um, nurse aid has the lab. We have the beds and the mannequins and what have you. So the kids in my class would always say, well, we want... Um, something that we feel like we're actually at a doctor's office or we're at a clinic where we can do customer service. Um, so that's how this grant came about. And um, I have three students with me that are actually taking the administrative assisting class this year. Um, Emily Reed, um, Makisha Botner, and Paige Stamper, and they're actually going to do the presentation for you. So we're here with Lee County ACT Medical Office class, and in the fall we qu requested a grant for our own simulated medical office for a more hands-on learning experience. We become bored with the traditional lecture, taking notes and watching PowerPoints. We wanted a more hands-on application in our medical office class, so we asked for a workstation. The students need to have the feel of a real-life medical situation to get the full experience. So it's just like a coach will tell you, you play how you practice. Most work done by the medical administration administrative assistant are completed at a reception-like area in a medical facility. By adding the simulated office area, we get a more true life, in-depth experience than just sitting in a classroom. We get to experience what a receptionist might do in a day-to-day -day office and the kind of work they may do. This project will may not only help us in medical administrative assisting, but will also help the other programs throughout the building. All programs have a component of customer service attached, whether discussing blueprints with a client, selling parts for a car, or checking a patient in to see a doctor. So why not have something that other programs can access as well? such as a movable design or building in a common room to allow access to all students. Like our PowerPoint says, we want a movable office that that's what we got. Our carpentry class put it on wheels, so if another class wanted to use it, uh, it's very easy to move around, very versatile to take from room to room. We are a small school and are limited on space. We wanted a type of office that you can easily move or fold up. Our office is on wheels, so it could be moved throughout the building. I believe that the movable office space will allow future medical office students to apply their skills to real-life situations. Thank you, and have a good day. Uh, so what we did for our project is the carpentry teacher in our building, he, uh, he's doing a tiny house also, so he, flip it on, Keisha, so he actually built this little module for us, um, um, and he's still working on it because he has been working on the tiny house. So keep flip it again, Keisha. So this is like what the inside. So it looks, it's got a desk in it and there's access to a phone jack and a computer jack so we can actually hook up and use our medical office um, um, software so that the kids can actually sit there and have people come up and they, you know, act like it's an actual um, medical office visit so they can actually get some real world experience. And then this is Taylor. She actually came with us or before, but she's... Um, with FBLA at their competition, so she didn't get to come. So this is just what it is, so 